Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whenever you're calling in from or watching this recording from. Um, so sorry that I couldn't have this recording yesterday like I normally do, um, like I did explain to um, those of us on the platform that we had um, a church member that had um, his two lungs collapsed, so we had to take him to the hospital. So I sent that video yesterday from the hospital, so it was quite low because I didn't want to uh, this one, I didn't want to um, shout, so I don't disturb the um, the other um, ward uh, people in the hospital. So anyway, I'm still going back to check on him today with my wife. I just wanted to make sure I've set this, um, do this Zoom call so that at least we can look at the market before we go deep into the week. Now, as you can see, the week is going to be, uh, we're going to have a whole lot of news releases um, throughout this week. This week is NFP week as well. So, but um, from Monday to day, it's, gonna, it's just looking a bit quiet, just the China news. You know, but from tomorrow, we'll see a lot of rate news, um, inflation news reports and all of that. So just pay attention to the news and see how you can um, take advantage of it. So straight up to the chart now, I'm not really going to waste them the day at all, looking at the, all of the pairs. Um, so I'm just going to pick up the ones that I that I feel have the higher um, 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 trade possibility. You know, one of the skills that you develop in Forex is to, is the skill to be able to wait for trades to set up. If you don't find anything to trade, don't try to look for and create things, you know, just let it come to you. Let the trade come to you. That is what is key, like I always do. So like this one, I'm looking at this one, Euro Swiss franc. I see that it's been struggling in these areas. You know, but as you guys can see, it's really, really clear. Remember what I said that I was waiting for that to come into that level and trade. And since then, it's been trading from that level. So it's come all the way down here. So let me see. Let me see how many pips that is since we looked at that trade from here. Yep. 600 plus pips. That's all good. So reason why I feel there might be, um, it, right now I might be ready to move up is because of this level. You see, it's... um. It's a key level, and I feel it might be ready to move. But one of the reasons why I wanted, I was trading this because I was expecting this inverted. I mean, this head and shoulder to play out. Let me see. Was that? Was that a full move? Um, yes, it was with some change. You know, full move with some change. So maybe um, it might be ready to go back up now. But even though it doesn't go back up, the next place that is available will be here. So even if it breaks that level, even if it breaks that level. Oh, let me use um this one. So even if it breaks that level, it comes into it. What's up? So even if it breaks that level, it needs to just come into that, and then this is a final trade before it goes back into that. That is my, you know, second um um trade uh, possibility. But the first one I'm really looking at is for it to come back into that zone and then come back up. Let me see what's there on the weekly. Um, just to decide. I mean, sorry, the monthly. Okay. Yep. So I think from here down here, it's 300 plus. But I think this is strong enough uh, level. It's only been there one, two. Um, so this would be a strong enough level for it to hold. So even though it decides that is, even though it decides to come down, this would be a strong enough level for it to hold before pushing back up. If you get what I mean. So I'm more biased towards the upside than the downside. So going back to my um weekly, looking at it again. Oh, let me go back to the go down to the daily and see. Or oh, bet, better still, the four hour level. So look, look, this is where we're at now. This is where we're at. So I'm expecting that to trade here. So my buy limit will be there, be at this level. You know, so that I can push, take that to the upside. I, yeah, it's been pushing up and down that level. We may just push there, do that before finally breaking out upside. But um, generally, I'm more particular about the upside. So if I'm going to take my trade, I won't be taking it at this level because who knows it may break back down. You know, so even though even though I'm gonna be taking it and I miss if I miss this, my next level of taking the trade will be here because it got there and returned. So if it breaks that level, then I'll look for another trade. If it breaks that level, then I look for another trade. So but I won't take a trade at this level unless I'm trying to scalp and I'm selling it back, you know. 
So it uh, maybe comes here and I'm trying to sell it back. So that is uh, if I believe that it's going to turn. But anyway, even though I don't believe that it's going to turn, as long as I have my, um, uh, what was it called now, stop loss there, then I'm good to sell that um, counter trend trading to that level and then expect that to go back up again. But again, bottom line, it to come down to that level and then take me to the upside. Okay, that's for Euro, Swiss franc. Euro card, pretty much the same thing. You know, we were waiting. Let me see my upside. What was the idea of the upside? Yep, that was a break, retest, and drop. It broke, retest, but pushed way in, but um, dropped eventually. But right now, I'm really waiting for that level. It broke from that level. Um, so I'm waiting for that thing to come to that level, break. I mean, sorry, come to that level and then bounce back to the upside. So this is my trade here. My trade is here. So, but if that happens and it comes here, it doesn't return, then it means it's going, coming there, going there and then pushing to go back up. Yep. But because it broke out of that thing, that level, this level strongly, so we still expect, might expect that to go in and then who knows drop further. But this is my trade for now. I'm not trading anymore, anything beyond that. So a trade here, back to that level. Then we'll start looking for more opportunities. Let me look at the higher time frame and see what is there again. Okay, the next level would, would be here. Where is that coming from? Okay, that's coming from here. So if, if at all it's gonna drop lower, then you just know that this is where it might drop low to before pushing back to the upside. And then if it's gonna keep going, maybe if this level is not strong enough to hold it, then we can then begin to see it drop all the way to let me let me pick up this one first because i see like a level here from the level oh so, yep so we see we might see that come all the way down down here you know then to continue so but basically i'm more particular about the upside but this one it just come down into that level that we created for it so that can give us a trade you know come back for first make sure you look out for that one okay all right then um aud and zd you know we've been trading this guy from way back inverter head and shoulder that we're trying to pick up it was in, it broke but it didn't close below so still good broke above that level. Remember, we've been looking at that level for a long time and then if I eventually broke out of it. So this is your trade. This is really straightforward. That's a very straightforward trade. Trying to get um, this thing to... So that's a very straightforward trade. What is a straightforward trade? Where's my... Um, so it's come down. So that's your trade. Your buy limit is there. You know, and then you pull, take it to the upside. You know where we're going to generally, you know where our general place is. Yep, that's where we're going to. Going all the way to the upside here. So hopefully we can look at one more here. So hopefully we can get that trade, but just get that entry. Uh, first of all, that just find that entry, the buy limit here, just get it. Get that and then possibly stop loss somewhere around here. You know, so it's a, it's a good win if we can get that one. But that's 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 really really straightforward. So 1.06303 or 300. That's your um trade for there. Now this one as well. It kind of failed. When I I was actually expecting it to trade from here. Excuse me, expecting it to trade from here, but it um fell through and then it's coming down now. So it's all good, not a problem. We can just look for another buy limit at that one zero point six two um thousand six two zero eight or two thousand and eight. So that's that level. And then you take it to the upside, which is quite really straightforward. So no force, just look for buy limit here. I'm not looking to buy from here yet. If we if it continues going up, then I'll just ignore it till it breaks above that level. Let me see that. If it continues going up without coming down, then there's no problem. I'm just gonna ignore it till it breaks above that level. Then I'll start looking for a trade. It's that straightforward, that simple. Yep. So I'm not buying from here. I'm only buying from when it co comes into a key level. So for the upside, nothing to trade until it breaks above. But for the downside, 
that is my trade there, 0.62,008 or 62,000, you know. Uh, let me see. Yep. Why? Because of the double bottom. I'm trying to take advantage of the double bottom. Yep. All right. So that's NCD USD, NZD card. Remember this guy as well? We've been talked about it last week. That we we took we expected that trade from here, and it did happen, and then came down. I didn't take it. I because it's been going up and down, so I left it alone. I think I, and after I got in somewhere, I reversed and then took profit, and then sort of, sort of um, left it alone because it pushed up again and came in and I think kind of picked out my stop loss somewhere. Sometimes I can't remember how that trade went, but it was a good trade when we started trading it, but eventually I abandoned it. So I missed all of this move. I think from here, all of this, but it's fine. You can win everything. Now we're looking for it to come down. Already put in okay, pin bar, is it a hammer here? Uh, whatever this is called. So, but that's not, I'm not really looking to buy it now. I still want it to come all the way to that level, 0 0.83160. That's my level for me to take that trade to the upside. Now, two things are possible here because you know this is in a channel. So it may well, it may well push below to test the bottom of that channel, you know, which will coincide with that, um, um, what's it called now? With that um, um, support level. So that may just happen, that breaks, retest, then comes down to that level, um, bottom of the, um, of the trend line, coinciding with the, uh, in confluence with that um, support level before pushing up, you know? So it's not a problem. If you, if you miss, if you enter, it comes here, and you miss it, maybe it's your stop loss. Don't worry, wait for it to come to that level. Then you have a massive win. Yep, so, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna see a trade here. I'm gonna see a trade here and then see another move to the up, see that move, expect that move to the upside and see what happens. Yep, let me see why that is a critical. Yeah, the reason why that is critical is it's gonna be, this is a um, level of the one, two, this will be the third test. Yep, and this is a fresh level. You know, so no, since it got here, it's not never been retested. So we expect that to bounce from that level. So I'm more particular about this guy is going to the upside. It's clear about it going to the upside. So um, let's watch that. Let's watch those two levels. The um, um, index, you know, index that inverted head and shoulder that they manipulated for so long, you know, all this manipulation, they did this, but eventually, you know, it happened. So right now it's broken out of that level, you know, very bullish and golfing can do. So it needs to come back into it so that we can see the trade to the upside. So that's for the um, the dollar index. So the opposite would be the case for the, what was it called now, the Euro USD. So it's bullish, bearish and golfing can do broke out. So what do we need to see now? Exactly the same thing. We need to see that come back into structure so that we can continue to see that downside. I know I marked this, that if we see that breakout, I did say if we see that breakout, then this is the level. I marked it way from, I don't know, I can't remember when, you know, but they've been pushing back and forth about with um, despair. So I wanted that to break out, retest, and then come now. So now it's playing out. So we just need to see a retest back into structure. So your buy, sell limit will be uh, in that area so that all of this will be used. But careful, Euro USD, Easily manipulated pair, so you just need to be careful on that of that one. The one other thing that is possible in short, I'm just gonna draw that line and bring that. So one other thing is possible. It's me just instead of going all the way back to structure, you know how it is. So it may just come back into the previous low, previous low, and then you see that happen. You know, but um, if you wanna take that, if you wanna trade both ways, you can put one here, put one here. You know, put one here, put one in structure as well. So even if, if it misses that one, it will pick that one. But either way, put coming down because that's a good breakout. Um, that's a good breakout without engulfing can do powerful stuff. You know, so but again, and you see it's closed below. Very, very good trade. But who knows? Anything can happen. You could just decide, you know, they could do, manipulate it in such a way that will bring that back up and then. <laughs> you know, but that's the way it is. If you lose that trade, don't um, beat yourself up. Just move on to the next trade. So, guys, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna look at this one. Uh, okay, uh, I'm just gonna stop there. But this one is uh, same thing happening here. Might be setting up. 
drop. So same thing might be setting up here as well for, for that drop, you know, but um, I was re really expecting this to continue down to the um, this level, you know, so that's what I was expecting to happen. But yes, good um, trade, you know, but who knows because of that powerful um, engulfing can do, this may just push all the way back up again for continuing. So you just need to be careful with this one. It's quite expensive trade to take. So if you're going to take it, you just need to be careful. Um, but the reason why I'm not really looking at it much is because I may mean, not, uh, because of that um, different um, inconsistencies in the move. So if at all you want to take advantage, you can do that. Let it break out of that level, break out of that level. And then possibly if it comes back into it, then you can look for your trade. Let break out of that and break out of this one possibly, then come back into it and then you look for your trade. Yep. So I'm gonna draw the curtain at this level and I'll um, see you guys will put out the recording and then have you guys that are that are not here watch it and let me know what you think. See you guys on the other side. Fantastic trading week to you, to everyone. Bye bye.